If your goal is to take a value and repeat it down a column using a spilled array formula, we can do that using the index function. The array is usually an array of items, but we're just going to give it a single item. Notice that that's a table with a single row, comma. We need to tell index that the item we're looking up is in the first row, but we need to do it 22 times. So we use the sequence function. Number of rows is 22, comma. The default for columns is 1, so we'll use that, comma. We're going to start at 1, comma, and the increment is 0. Close parentheses on sequence. If we evaluate sequence using the F9 key, there's our 22 ones looking up the first row in that table 22 times. Control Z. When we close parentheses, that's our formula. Now when I hit Enter, the results spill down the column. But notice, all the cells below the top one are grayed out. The formula only lives in the top cell. We want to copy the formula to the side, so we only copy the top formula, click and drag. And now that is repeating the number 43 22 times. Because we've linked everything, if I change this to 10, just like that, it updates. If this is not invoice 101, but 103, when I hit Enter, everything updates. Bonus number one. Hey, how would we do this in older versions? Well, we make a formula pointing to that cell, hit the F4 key to lock it, and manually copy it down. Or we could highlight all the cells in advance, and in the top active cell equals, there it is, 43, F4 to lock it, Control Enter. Now that method there allows us to do something to an individual cell that contains an individual formula. If, on the other hand, you wanted to lock all those values in and not allow anyone to change individual cells, in the active cell we say, hey, there's the value. We don't have to lock it. But we have to enter it as an array using Control-Shift-Enter. And when you use Control-Shift-Enter, you have to verify that the curly brackets were put in automatically by Excel. Control-Shift-Enter is you telling Excel this is an array formula in older versions. And those curly brackets are Excel telling you it understood that you wanted to enter this as an array. All right, here's bonus number two. If you needed to spill this all from a single cell, well, we use let to define the variable sequence. There it is. That's the, in this case, 10 number ones. And then we have to use the choose lookup function to look up the first and second column. Simultaneously, there's column number one. There's column number two. So when I hit Enter, all the values, including that one, are spilling from the top cell. All right, the idea for this video came from Jim Fitch at YouTube. And as always, it's awesome hanging out on our online Excel team. We'll see you next video.